Ford Maverick is not your average truck. It's smaller, it's cheaper, it's way more efficient, and honestly, the more time I spend driving it, the less I think about it as a truck. And maybe you should too. I mean, yes, this is a pickup by literal definition. But the Maverick is the least truck-like of all the trucks on sale today. And that means it's great in the city. We've come to LA in the middle of rush hour to prove that point. So Ford is aiming the Maverick at people that are a lot like me, honestly. That means late 20s, dangerously close to 30 millennials with an active lifestyle. Honestly, if they sold trucks at REI, they'd probably look a lot like this. So here I have my $7 active latte. I have my active backpack with workout clothes for later, and I'm going to work. And welcome to the rush hour commute. A good commuter car has to work every day without doing anything to annoy you in the process. I've driven this Maverick all over LA this week, and in most cases, it's been an absolute rock star. Over 41 miles to the gallon combined from a hybrid engine that's both refined and super easy to get used to. With gas prices the way they are at the moment, this is a huge perk of the Maverick that it's this economical. It's the right size too. The Maverick is small enough to fit really well in between any of LA's super wonky freeway lanes. When you're in traffic just like I am now, it's small enough to shoot the gaps and switch lanes pretty easily. And while you're driving along, you're surrounded by a really nice interior. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is covered in hard plastics, but they made it fun. The one I'm driving is blue, white, there's orange accents. There's even heated seats for the front passengers and a heated steering wheel. Given the active consumer that Ford is trying to court with this truck, the material choices make sense. You won't have to think twice after a long day of hiking, muddy boots and all. The Maverick's interior isn't luxurious, but it does one thing that's really important. It doesn't make you feel like you bought a cheap car. This is a genuinely great city commuter. Parking is an absolute nightmare around here, trust me, but Ford designed this in such a way that it can fit in most tight spaces. Roll the tape earlier of me trying to parallel park. So you remember all that active lifestyle stuff? I mean, I'm not just gonna drive the Maverick to work and then home every day and do nothing else. That'd be really boring. Sometimes you want to do something a little more adventurous, you know, with friends. Clint, so when you invited me out for drinks, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. You ever hear dry February? No, what's dry February? Well, it's basically dry January, except you had a little bit more time to think about it and then commit. And now you're doing it with me. Well, it's only 28 days instead of 31. Which actually doesn't look so bad. Uh, for you. Thank you. And for me. So this is dry February, huh? Yeah. I don't like dry February. Okay, shut up and help me in. Thank you. Surely. All right, Clint, so in spite of this terrible drink that you made me, this is honestly a pretty cool setup for the beach. It's not bad, right? And yeah. this is on the lighter side of what Ford things you can do with the Maverick. They have all these videos online where you can hack your Maverick. Uh, you can put a bike rack in it with a plank of wood. You can put some uh, ambient lighting underneath the rails and your own sliding bed rails. Yeah, and that's the thing is they're giving you the plans. They're not asking you to pay for anything. So if you've got some skills and some know-how, you can make your Maverick exactly like you want it. I think Ford is aware of the price point of this truck and they know that some people just want a DIY. So we've talked about all these cool things that this truck can do, but there have to be a few drawbacks, right? There are some drawbacks. We have the hybrid model, which means you're limited to front wheel drive. As of now, they don't offer it an all wheel drive configuration and you can only tow 2000 pounds. But if you do get the all wheel drive, you can also get that two liter turbo EcoBoost, which tows a little bit more, 4,000 pounds, right? You can get it up to 4,000 pounds, but you're adding cost and complexity. I know that some people in colder weather climates are gonna need that, but for the vast majority of us here in the sun, front wheel drive hybrid is the way to go. Sounds good to me. Yeah, cheers, right? Oh. The Ford Maverick is not the best option for a traditional truck buyer, but instead a great new choice for anyone living in an urban environment. And this truck has an MSRP of around $27,000, including the destination charge, making it one of the best values for money in the entire industry. New models with this amount of thought and creativity don't come around too often, and when they do, it's important to give them credit. This is one fantastic truck.
Thanks for watching.